Hello beautiful Pisces, welcome back to Intuitive Energies. My name is Jane and today we're going to find a courage. We're going to deal with the block. The block is the strength card in reverse. So that's doubting your own personal power, your own personal strength. It's really for me the card of doubt. Doubt in, in your being, in who you are. So how do you do that? Well it's pretty, it's pretty, it's pretty self-explanatory. You will find a courage it, when you come at it um, with love, okay? We were talking a lot about love this week and it's the same, it's the same, okay? I hope you like my little doggy. My mom taught me how to do that little doggy when I was young. Although it looks like a rabbit more than a doggy, but... All right, so we're gonna go right into it. Um, before I continue on, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do so. I do have a beautiful website um, that I will be doing a lot more. I'm just getting people to join um, so that you get notifications. So no matter what happens on YouTube, you'll have always a way that I can communicate with you. Um, and it also lets you know when the videos drop because sometimes, well, you know, YouTube is one platform. This website is mine. It's free. And when you join, you get a free video that I don't post publicly and it's me explaining each individual card of the Tarot based on the Rider Waite system, um, my own definitions of it, so it's like a basic, so that you have the basic knowledge of the cards and their meanings, um, as according to me, because everybody does that differently, but it's a nice little video if you're interested in Tarot, okay? Alright, so that is in the description box below. As always, there's a playlist of the older videos. If you can watch one of those after watching this one, it helps view time, it helps the channel, and I thank you. Alright, we're going to dive right into here, Pisces. The Courage card came up, and it says in it, I find the inner strength to face fear with confidence. Now we're dealing with blocks today for this week. And we had the Strength card in reverse, which is the card of Courage itself. So maybe your thing is that you're having a hard time right now to deal with things because you're having a hard time to find the courage. It's not always easy making your way in the world um, when you don't always see the path in front of you. It can get a little scary, right? So it says you need to remind yourself that part of the challenge of being a soul is learning to own your own power, okay? And to honor your own power. By listening to your inner voice and following its advice, you are acknowledging the perfection of your intuition. Fear is only an illusion, and obstacles are great opportunities for you to demonstrate that coming from a place of love, and there's a love card here, okay, will conquer all of fear's disguises. So they all work together here, Pisces. You see that? They're all working together. Perhaps you are changing career paths or entering or exiting a relationship. This test has been put before you because it's an opportunity to prove to yourself that you, and only you, can make the correct decision. By not taking that step forward, you may find yourself two steps back, only to face that same obstacles again. Remember, Pisces, what I told you. If you don't deal with something in this cycle, it comes back again. My ears are ringing. Yeah. So it's better to face it now. It's better to do it like right now. Okay? So, love. You are love. You are love. And look at this beautiful purple. Both of these have purple hues in these cards. So, such a nice color for us, isn't it, Pisces? It is your inherent vibration 
The obstacles and challenges of the physical dimension attempt to trick you into thinking that there are other ways to view life. But there's only one way that is natural to your being. Love. This card simply reminds you that your soul is made of God's pure divine vibrational force of love and that you need to bring this awareness to bear on every aspect of your life and being. Love is a healing energy. All anxiety and drama cannot exist in the aura of love. Most souls have come back upon this earth to learn, accept, and utilize this harmonic, harmonic force, it's a harmonic force, and to see its effects upon their lives. It is your time to remind others of the strength of their own power, the strength, strength of their own power, I love that, of God. This, of their own power of God. So that's within them, right? And assist them in knowing fully that love is the most powerful element in the universe. It builds, fortifies, and strengthens, there's that word again, strengthens even the most lost person. When we live in the power of love, then and only then will we know the truth. True love is a spiritual link between us and God. It will guide our footsteps through the conflicts of the material world and will cleanse our hearts of unwanted facets of the human personality. Very nice. I, I feel it's very clear cut is what I hear from them. It's very clear cut the answer to your question here. If there is one Pisces. Okay. When you feel the strength leaving you. When you feel this energy just going away. The card that come out with that as well was self-reflection. So it's time to reflect on what it is you're saying when you don't believe in yourself, when you're starting to doubt how you feel inside. Okay? So, hold on here, Pisces. I like to put the cards upright before I start. And if they come... Um, all right, Pisces. All done. I like to start with the deck all the way straight, and if the cards come out in reverse, then I feel it's truly meant to be. It's just a thing. All readers have their own thing. That is mine. I usually do it before, but I'm savoring my coffee this morning in the beautiful sunshine. Okay. So the world in reverse. Get the first row in the front. Okay. So let's see what we have here. I do believe that is the King of Pentacles. He does awfully look um, with those horns and everything around him though. He does look, he's got an Emperor look to him. So we have the Emperor tomorrow, that's why that kind of hit me. Tomorrow as what the past is affecting you is the Emperor. So it's stability. Okay, stability and gains, the material world. So, yes, what you need to work on is less of the goal of the end. The, the worldly, materialistic, negative impact of the world, okay, your fears coming true. What if I reach the end of this cycle and I don't get the lesson? What if I don't get what I'm supposed to get here? Okay, so these cards in reverse make me feel like there's a lot of doubt, that you're doubting yourself, that you're doubting that you can learn from the current phase. Because the world card is a lot about learning about the current phase and everything that you need, all the different components, all the energies, and you're afraid you're just going to repeat the same cycle over and over again. You're afraid that you're not going to reach your goals, okay? 
because you feel that that's that may be all about for some of you maybe just be about that what can I get from it okay what kind of abundance am I going to get from it and when things don't end up coming in the way that you feel they should you start being cautious you start to mistrust you start being suspicious uh, you start feeling negative um, the Seven of Swords is, is I, fi I find a lot of times like a card of safeguarding how you feel. You opt out of things instead of going after them due to fear. Okay, so it's like you, the courage leaves you. That strength card, that courageous feeling of I'm going to do it, it leaves you beforehand because you're going, it's just easier to get out of there before anything bad happens. These cards leave me with a lot of doubt. And the King of Pentacles, well, he's the King of Materialistic Things. And usually that's a very good thing, but I'm feeling, like I said, very much the Emperor vibe of you're looking for stability. But it's very much in the human world, in, in what you can see, what you can feel, what you can touch. Okay, And that includes people too, Pisces, people who are standing in front of you. So... Um, yeah, I think that needs to be, that energy needs to be revised. Okay, that's what, if, that's what if is affecting you. What can I own? What can I feel? What can I touch? What can I accumulate? And you know, because the world being this way, you know that something's off. Okay, so this is... This could be an internal monologue that's going inside of you. That's taking it a task, you know. So that's the energy that you're investing. The first one is always the energy you're investing in something. So let's see what else you could work on here. I think that energy is better here. Yeah. Okay, so you have the Page of Pentacles you have the Ace of Cups, and you have the King of Swords. This right here with underneath the Seven of Swords is the power of the mind, okay? When you're thinking with the King's logic, you're, king you're thinking in a much uh, level playing field than this right here. This is fear, and this is logic. Okay, so they're asking you to take some logic in the situation that you're doing. The Ace of Cups is definitely the love card coming through here. They want you to look at this as a new beginning, to look at with the eyes of love. And they're saying that that makes sense, even with the King of Swords, who doesn't have much emotion to him. He cannot deny that that is a much better way of thinking, okay, a new way of thinking. It's all about new ways of thinking, new ways of seeing things. The Page of Pentacles is solid beginnings, okay? And yes, there's a lot of practicality in these cards, especially at each side. And the funny message that I get from here is that it's practical to vibrate in love. They're actually saying that it's better for you to vibrate in love. It's a lot more, makes a lot more sense. There's common sense in love vibration rather than a fear vibration. So they're appealing to some of us who, who like to think things through. Okay? So they're telling you, take the self-reflection that you need to realize that vibrating in a love energy is much more productive than 
thinking in an energy of fear and self-sabotage, okay? In being afraid, in, in, in believing that the safe route is retreat rather than vibrating in love and intuition, okay? So they're really appealing to some of us who have that very um, think it through. They want you to think it through in a way of think it through in a love vibration. Okay, they're saying there's a lot more regeneration, there's a lot more to be had, okay, there's a lot more to be abundant and accumulate when you are vibrating in a fresh outlook of love. Interesting. So that's, that's really, it's a, it's a, an interesting way of saying that you're aligning with your energies, all of your chakras. It may feel like it doesn't make sense at first, but it really does. Because we tend to think in different ways. I, I use my mind, and I use my heart. Well, they're saying use everything. Okay? That's, that's aligning with your chakras, all your energy centers to uh, bring forth the results that you want. What they want you to pay attention to. Okay, these came out that came out. Yeah, I knew justice was going to come out because I thought that was justice when it first came out. But it's the King of Swords because I saw the swords. I just felt like the justice card. So I'm feeling like the Emperor cards, the justice cards. Um, And the card of the Three of Pentacles. That's lovely. And the Magician is underneath the deck. Okay? So let's look at these Pisces. Let's take a real good look. The first card is the card of isolation, or at least the one where you think you are alone. The thing is, is that these figures are usually following each other, but in this case, they're almost walking towards each other without seeing each other. So I feel that at one point you're going to bump into the logic of all of this. You're going to bump into this realizing that um, you have to, your courage is going to be based on a place of love and it's going to make all the sense in the world. That's really what I feel. So this is going to be new. The Page of Pentacles is usually like a new thing. A new thing you're learning. A good new thing. Okay. So I feel that you're going to bump into thinking, oh, okay, um, I'm really not alone. Um, and, you know, we're going to be much better together. In other words, your logic, your love is going to be so much better together. It's going to give you the courage to move on. That strikes up that balance card right here, the justice card, because it's got the scales. The scales which balances things out, which makes everything start making sense. Um, the Justice card is always about fair decisions being made, okay? It could be literal, but it's also, in general readings such as this, is, is things start making sense, and then they move forward. Of course, with the Three of Pentacles, it means teamwork. Teamwork from your energies, your intuition, everything working together to make things happen. So in other words, you're using all of your energies. The Magician card right here, okay? You're tapping into your personal power, and there's a Devil card right underneath. So it's leaving those restrictions. These are the things you're not seeing, okay? But they're there. You're going to utilize it. It's going to help you break away from that fear. Okay, that sense of you feeling like, I just can't do it, I don't have enough courage. You do. You do. You just have to tap into love, which is at the center here, right here of your reading, letting you know that is the key. Okay, not only is it the key, the heart of the situation, the love in the situation, it is your element, it's water, it's who we are. So tapping into that first is the very first thing we should always do. 
come out from a place of love. Most of the time, it will lead you to wherever you need to go next. But in this case, I love the fact that it's using the air and the earth sign to help you out. Okay, The master energy of, of learning and common sense to beat away the fears, the sense of lack, the sense of not being able to learn. You're going to meet up with that. You're going to balance things out. Plus, you're going to have lots and lots of help. Okay, this is my card of spirit. So there's something propelling you here, letting you know, helping you along your way, trying to remove that block for you. It may even be in this reading, and it's telling you to balance out. It's the five things we need here. Okay, it's the four elements and spirit. So everything is going to come together, coming from a place of love, to help you get out of this block. Yeah, sounds very good to me. If you can sit on that, meditate on that, and start imagining um, your center, the heart of you, your green chakra, letting it just the color green and the heart space, just um, imagine it enveloping your whole being and giving you the light you need to find a direction in which you need to be going to find the courage. That's a very good place to start Pisces. So I would suggest that you do that if you have that kind of thing going on. All right, so I'm going to come back and do the, the extended later. I thank you for being here. As always, I am sending you love, light, and blessings, Pisces. Take care.